But the challenge for evolution gets worse than what we've just talked about. This is where we get into some cutting edge stuff from DNA science, really, really interesting. Let's say you're looking at a segment of your DNA and you're reading it, and it spells out, was it a rat I saw? Kind of a weird phrase, let's clean it up, take the punctuation away. Was it a rat I saw? Well, in English, we read from left to right. But you may have already noticed, you could read this backwards. Was it a rat I saw? <laughs> it's called a palindrome. You can read it forwards and backwards, it's kind of fun. It doesn't have a lot of meaning to it, but you can read it forwards and backwards. This is what we've discovered about much of our DNA. Much of it can be read not only forwards, but also backwards. But the challenge for evolution gets worse than that because that was the same message forwards and backwards. Take a look at this, the word desserts. You flip that around and it spells stress, which is what I get when I don't get desserts. <laughs> Let's introduce a random mutation. We'll just randomly delete the T. You know what, that random mutation not only messed up the word desserts, it messed up the word stress. It doesn't spell either of those words. One random change messed up two messages because of the forwards and backwards effect. Now when we're looking at our DNA, we don't see these little words that flip back and forth. We see up to entire chapters of complex information that can be read forwards and backwards. Let me give you a simple analogy to make your head spin if it isn't already spinning. Let's say you all work for a smartphone factory and it's your job and training to write the instruction manual to give to the manufacturing plant to make these phones. So your bo boss comes to you one day and says, I've got a project for you. I need you to write the chapter in this manual that will explain how these phones are going to download apps from the web. You say, sure, yeah, I can do that. That's your training. So he's walking away, and then all of a sudden he turns around and goes, oh, wait a minute, sorry, I forgot one thing. A little minor detail. When you write your chapter that's going to explain how the phone will download these apps, you have to write it in such a way that if we read it backwards, it's going to explain how the phone's going to play music files. And you're, you look at him, you're like, boy, you're kidding me, right? He says, no, I'm sorry, we only have so much room in the manual, we need to get those messages forwards and backwards. That is humanly impossible. You can't even program a computer to do that. I didn't do computer programming for 18 years. It can't be done. Yet this is what we're seeing in our DNA. You read it one way, there's an entire chapter that makes certain proteins, and proteins carry out all the functions in our bodies. You read it backwards, it makes completely different proteins that have a completely different function. Number one, how do particles smashing together create something like this to begin with, and how do you make random changes to it, make it better and better? You can't. But the challenge for evolution gets even worse than that.